Hey guys, Crave the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am making this video because I need your help. <laughs> and this is with um, processing the Rosette Nebula. Okay, the Rosette Nebula, you know, it's a very popular ne nebula, not far from uh, Orion. Um, a lot of people image it, we see it a lot in winter, and it is my most hated target ever. <laughs> Well, not really, but basically I always have trouble with the Rosette Nebula. Like, w I don't know why I am never happy with the results that I am getting. Like the, the Rosette Nebula, the core itself is quite bright, uh, but it has like some extended nebulosity that, that basically like kind of curves away from the nebula and lots of like noise around the, the nebula that, that is very difficult to deal with, even like especially even in narrowband, especially from a white zone as I am here in Tokyo. And the core of the nebula, like trying when you're taking narrowband images, trying to get the proper colors for the nebula, is so difficult. I've always ended up with colors that look overcooked to me, and the uh, the, the blue in the um, in the narrowband spectrum is kind of like not not the beautiful transparent turquoise kind of blue. It always ends up being too blue, too fluorescent, and I never like the final image that I'm getting. And this goes back to the fact that while I do a lot of narrowband, to this day I am not very good at processing narrowband, which is always a bit of an issue. So this is why I need your help. And uh, by that I mean that I will give you all of the data that I have collected on the Rosette Nebula in the past few nights. And this data is around 30 hours of narrowband data at f2. <laughs> So it's a lot of data. It is from Tokyo, but it is a lot of data. So there's not much noise, not that much noise in the data. It's a really good SNR, at least for my standards here in Tokyo. And I'll put the links down in the description below to, so you can download it both in um, XISF format from PixInsight or in FITS format if you want to process it in Photoshop. And I'm really curious to see what you guys can achieve. First, let's have a look at what I have achieved. So you can see on my monitor right now, PixInsight, and this is the original uh, image. So this is taken with the L-Extreme filter, over 30 hours of data. So it's um, what we have, 365 five second exposures at F2 with the uh, L-Extreme, which my particular sample of the L-Extreme is, is very good for fast optics. Most other L extremes are not as good. So uh, if you do uh, narrowband imaging with a very fast uh, telescope, um, like Hyperstar or Raza or very fast lens, um, I would recommend using something like the IDAS NBZ, which has uh, broader band passes, but it's much less affected by the band pass shift that we see with uh, fast optics. At any rate, so this is the image that I'm obtaining. And you know, at first glance, it looks awesome. Like there is not a lot of noise. The tracking was good. There's my usual slight chromatic aberration with Hyperstar, but I don't really mind. And so what I did with, with this image is really like my usual processing. Um, which is uh, using RC Astro's Blur Exterminator, uh, which I bought since the last uh, video, uh, using RC Astro's <laughs> Noise Exterminator, and using RC Astro's at the end uh, Star Exterminator to kind of separate uh, the stars, along with uh, Dark Archon's uh, Easy Soft Stretch. Uh, function. So that's what I did on this uh, on this image. On top of that, I used one of Bill Blanchon's uh, scripts, which um, I should have in here, and it is the uh, Bill's narrowband normalization. Bill Blanchon is a wizard, and all of his scripts are awesome. By the way, I'll put links to the scripts in the video description as well. If you don't know them for PixInsight, they're awesome. To use them, you just double click on one of the scripts and it will add icons like you can see here. So what I did, I used the HOO normalization and what I noticed by the way is that the core would get blown out unless I played a bit with the, uh, I decreased the brightness control and the oxygen three boost in there. So in the, in the symbols of that. I'm not showing you the whole processing because I tried recording it, but while I was recording it, uh, <laughs> I had sun sciatica like, uh, a really bad pain uh, from the spine to the leg. So I kind of had uh, to uh, 
uh, stand up. I'm currently at a standing desk because uh, sitting is a bit painful. So that's why I'm not going through the, uh, the whole uh, process. But you can see what I obtained after that process, which is really very simple uh, process. As I was mentioning, uh, blur exterminator, noise exterminator, easy, uh, easy soft stretch, yeah, uh, bills, HOO normalization with some slight tweaks and then curves and some star reduction. That's pretty much the whole flow that I did in PixInsight. And this is the result. Now, it, the starless result, actually, this is, this is exact, the exact same image with the stars and without the stars. And the starless image, I don't know, it looks so much better to me, but I really like having the stars as well. So I don't know how to kind of solve this issue. And the other thing that I see with this is that the car, the core, I don't like the core color. And I, I don't know how to make that color into that very turquoise kind of semi-transparent blue that I see in a lot of, you know, um, Hubble palette type of images. And so those, like the, the blue looks too fluorescent. It looks too strong. I don't know how to, how to, how to deal with it basically. And so really the, the, the the point of this video is, oh, I think actually in this image I increased the, the saturation on the blue. Anyway, the, the point of the, the video is to ask for yourself, to your, your help. Like, okay, you, you'll have the data down there. You'll have the processes that I use. If you feel like it over the new year, uh, playing with that data and, you know, seeing what the results are and, and letting me know down in the comments what, what steps you used, what, what processes you used to, to achieve a result, uh, maybe with a link to the result, that kind of stuff. It could be you know, a fun, uh, fun activity for those who feel like, uh, like using the data. And, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I also want to uh, thank my Patreon supporters as uh, like I'm, I'm really like thankful for the, my my Patreon supporters, which really helps me, um, you know, make new videos for the uh, for the channel. And I want to also uh, say that uh, up to now I haven't provided any like perks to my Patreon supporters, but I will do so going forward. Uh, where my plan to start with is to have at least once a month a full video uncut of processing in PixInsight of a target that I have never processed before, or you know, new data that I haven't processed before. So you can see my thought processes without the editing for YouTube, which is really like the, the end result of all of the steps that I've decided are the good, good steps for a target very often. So you'll see, you'll have access to those uncut videos with the raw data. And I really plan as much as possible on doing that for every target that I do going forward. Uh, and hopefully at least once a month, uh, maybe reprocessing some old data as well. So again, to see my thought processes and maybe on Patreon, we can exchange as well on the um, the steps that I'm using and whether you'd have different steps to do so. So only for my Patreon supporters, long form videos, uncut picks inside processing uh, for and the data associated with that for your viewing pleasure. Uh, the first ones that I'll have on are a very small galaxy called M74 and also uh, I'll be playing with Bud's galaxy or Bud's nebula, um, putting those uh, those two, two full, for, full form uncut videos on the uh, on the Patreon uh, for my supporters very soon. So thank you so much, uh, Patreon supporters. And for non-supporters, don't worry, I'll, I'll keep making processing videos, uh, general ones on the channel as well. It's just I wanted something to reward uh, my, uh, uh, my, my supporters on Patreon. Um, so uh, with that, uh, thank you so much for watching as always. Thank you so much if you will try your hand at processing this raw data that I'm providing. And more important than any of that, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars. Uh, hopefully, maybe Happy New Year very soon. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.